Organic compound A contains 62% by mass of carbon, 24.1% by mass of nitrogen, the remainder being hydrogen. If the question asks uniform percentage by mass of hydrogen and the chemical formula for A, then the percentage of mass of hydrogen can be determined when you add the percentage of carbon, 62%, and the percentage of nitrogen, 24.1%, and subtract it by 100, you get 13.1%. 9%, which is the percentage mass of hydrogen. Then to find the molecular mass, you have to find the mole of each compound. And 62.0 grams of carbon divided by its molar mass is 12.01 gram, will give you 5.16 mole of carbon. And do the same for the rest, 24.1 grams of nitrogen divided by its molar mass, 14.01 grams of nitrogen, will give you 1.72 mole of nitrogen. Lastly, for hydrogen, 13.9 grams, which was found above, divided by its molar mass, 1.01 gram, will give you 13.76 mole of hydrogen. So then you want to find the ratio of these moles, which you will need to divide it with the smallest mole to get a whole number. So 5.16 mole divided by 1.72 mole will give you 3 moles of carbon. 1.72 mole divided by 1.72 mole will give you 1 mole of nitrogen. And 13.76 mole divided by 1.72 mole will give you 8 mole of hydrogen, which then will give you the empirical formula C3NH8. Lastly, the question gives you the relative molecular mass is 116. Did amend the molecular formula for A? So if the molecular mass is 16, 116, if you divide it by the molecular mass of this empirical formula, you get the difference between the two molecular formula, which then will give you two. So if you find out the difference of the, of the empirical formula and the molecular formula, then you'll be able to multiply it to get the molecular formula for the weight of 116, which is C6N2H18.